Well, hello again and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you've been following the channel for a little while, you'll know the good folk at Trend Tool Technology have been very kind to me over the years. They've sent me a variety of tools and equipment to try out for purposes of review. Just to clarify that bit, I'm not sponsored or paid by Trend to make any of these videos, but I do have Amazon affiliated links in the description. So if you were to click on one of those links and make a purchase, then a small commission would go to the channel. Right, that's the disclaimer bit out of the way. Today, I wanna to talk specifically about PPE. Now again, if you've been watching me for a little while, you'll know I'm a big fan of the Trend Stealth Dust Mask. Really comfortable, wear it all the time. I do have a bit of a problem with it though, and that is in regards to eyewear. So something like goggles that will fit over my glasses and fit comfortably with the Stealth Mask. And I've not been able to find anything. And I found myself more and more recently at the end of the day in the kitchen with eye drops trying to get loads of rubbish out of my eyes. Not very sensible. So I spoke to Trend recently and they have very kindly agreed to send me one of the Airshield Pros to test out and see how I get on with it. Now, if you don't know what the Airshield Pro is, it's a full face mask powered uh, respirator. And to be honest, I've been dying to try one of these for a long time. So let's get the box onto the workbench, get it opened up and have a look what's inside. Okay, so when we take everything out of the box, what have we actually got? Well, there's the actual face shield itself, which had a little uh, cover over it, which I've ripped off. There is the battery. Now, just having a quick check through the instructions, when you take the lid, the helmet bit off, it just slots in nice and easily. There, yeah, that works okay. There is the power adapter. Now, to, for the charging, it's got a little light on it here, so it's not on the actual shield itself. And I've got it on the UK plug, and there are a variety of other plug sockets as well. There is the instruction book, the two filters, which attach in here. I'm just gonna sort them out in a second. And a trend kind of carry bag for the face shield. So that's everything sorted. I'm glad I took it out now because I've got a basically a job that I need this for. And I've just read in the instructions that for an initial charge, it needs 24 hours. So I'm going to get the filters popped on and get all this sorted out, get it charged up for 24 hours. I'm back hopefully to try it out tomorrow. Right, not gonna lie to you, it's two days later because if you're anything like me, I don't like to leave things on charge overnight in here. So I now have a fully charged air shield and over the course of the next few days, I'm going to properly put it through its paces. I've got my lovely oak slab that I've been working on here, which is gonna feature in a future video. And I've got a variety of situations that I'm going to need this. And I'm just gonna run a bit of footage in the background. So at the end of that, I'm gonna come back to you, share a little bit more about it that I think may be relevant to folk who might possibly be interested in buying one. And also give you my overall conclusion at this stage. So, I'll see you in a few days.
Okay, obviously this isn't a long-term review, but hopefully in that little montage I've just shown you there, I've managed to test it out and demonstrate it within a variety of different situations within the workshop. And let's have a few little conclusions. Firstly, a few little bits and pieces of information you might want to know about it. One of my website members asked me, how big's your head? Because they're thinking of buying one and they weren't sure what sizes it would fit. So how do you measure a tape measure on my head just with one hand? No, I need to get some help. <laughs> How big's the head? Yeah, about there. Yeah, about there. Can we include your forearm as well? Mm-hmm. Fifty-nine centimetres? Fifty-nine. Oh, no. Fifty-nine centimetres? Fifty-nine. 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 Really? Yeah, Pam always saying I've got a big fat head. And fifty-nine centimetres, is that small, medium, extra large? But I did have a look in the manual and the head size range is 54 to 61 centimetres. So yes, my head is quite big, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's just look a little bit about optional extras that you can get with it. As you'd have seen in the video, me clicking them in. I did get the optional ear protectors that go with it. If you do have the kind of Isotune styles, the in-ear ones, they'd be okay because they just go in and round the back of your neck. But if you've got the over-ear protectors that go over your head, they wouldn't be compatible with this. It just physically wouldn't get over the top of the ear shield. In terms of other optional extras, you can buy these clear film screens that go over the face shield to help protect it. You can buy additional batteries and they also do a cradle charger for the battery. So if you don't want to be lugging this around at the end of the day to charge it up, there's a little cradle charger you can get to go with it. Um, you can get additional uh, filters as well, but I think that's about it for the optional extras, which brings as to my conclusion, what do I actually think about it having a couple of days use with it? Yeah, I really, really like it. It ticks all the boxes for me in terms of PPE and suitability for my needs. Um, I, test, um, I checked on my little scales with the optional ear protectors. It comes in at 1.3 kilos, which people think might actually be quite heavy, but it doesn't feel heavy on your head. I think, I don't know, I think it's because the battery's centrally located just around this area. So it's well balanced when it's on your head and it doesn't feel heavy. I wore it for a few hours each day and it didn't feel like, you know, my neck was tired. And, you know, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know I've just had major surgery and I've had a spinal cord implant put on my neck. So I need to be very careful with these things. But I felt fine with this, wearing this for a few hours and probably could have wore it for a few hours more. Um, as a glasses wearer, it really does tick the boxes because it's comfortable to wear and it gives you that clear field of vision and you can still wear your glasses to get that, obviously, that clarity when you're looking at things. In terms of how does it feel, it just basically feels like cool air conditioning being blown onto your face and it's pleasant. All right, you know, I noticed actually when I was in here on the first day I was using it, it was very warm outside and it warmed the workshop up as I was working. And when I switched it off and lifted it up, I got hit by this wave of heat. I didn't realize how hot it was in here. So it's actually that pleasant air conditioning feel on your face as you're working in it. It keeps things nice and clear. And as you could see in the video with the likes of the Dremel work, there's no dust collection with that. And it was spewing out dust everywhere. Now, and I even like at the end of it, I was, work, I was wearing it for sanding. I just didn't think to swap up to my dust mask or anything. I just felt fine. I'll just carry on. And when I was doing some sanding on the top, uh, it, you know, it, it was great for that as well. Uh, there will be some folk out there thinking this is just ridiculous overkill. Um, why is he wearing something like that for doing the tasks he's doing? And those people have their opinions. But my response to that is, you know what? I genuinely don't care what other people think in regards to this. Um, I have, you know, I'm really careful about how about going working in the workshop and in terms of my own health and the PPE that I use. You know, last year, uh, around 18 months ago, I was unfortunate enough to have a real bad case of COVID and it affected my lungs really badly. And for months after I was struggling breathing, uh, it took a long time to get that sorted. So, you know, when you have that reality of that reality situation, you only get one pair of lungs. So you need to look after yourself. 
and you know this really helps for that um, in addition to uh, the eye safety as well uh, you know it's very pleasant to wear you will see me in future videos a lot using this I think primarily its target audience would be the wood turners I'd imagine it would be that where you see this kind of um, face shield you know um, being used and you can totally imagine why that is the case because of all the you know the dust and everything that gets spewed up when they're working wood turning not for me uh, is it in the future I don't know is there anybody uh, mad enough out there to teach someone how to do one-handed wood turning uh, I don't know but maybe that's for future content certainly not for present um, so in conclusion you know thank you to Trend for sending it me I really like it and it's something you will you know, I think the proof is in the pudding when it comes to testing something out. I can say, oh, it's all great and everything here now. But the proof is if you see me in a video in six months time, 12 months time, 18 months time wearing it, you'll know I actually like the product because I continue to wear it. And that's been the case. Uh, I'll go off script a little bit here with a lot of trend stuff. You know, uh, I have been sent stuff uh, to test out, you know, review, as I said at the beginning of the video. But you've seen me now for three years using Trend products continuously in this workshop. And, you know, that's, uh, that's my endorsement of them is that I continue to use them and will continue to use them, certainly in this case. I think I've covered pretty much everything there, folks. But as ever, you know, uh, if you want to know a little bit more about it or you've got a specific question, you've got the comments section below, you've got the social media stuff to contact me. I really would like to thank uh, my website members here because there's been a conversation going on in the background about this, so which has helped me prepare for this video, which is the front facing YouTube one today. You know, and if you want to be involved in that, then head along to my website, hand i craft com and there's a members only section if you want to sign up it's three pound a month which gives you behind the scenes footage of videos like this ad free versions of the youtube stuff and also i've just recently introduced a, a discount scheme a 10 percent discount scheme to any of the products that i sell online through my website so if you like my wood finishing wax you know you can get yourself 10 percent off on that if you sign up to the website members okay folks thanks very much for everything and as ever Take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.